Good morning, my sweet bumblebees. I'm Gigi Ma Mel, and this is Living a Gigi Ma Style. Forget the wet hair, I just got out of the bath, and I don't comb my hair when it's wet because it's really long and I don't like breaking it, if you know what I mean. Today's video is different than what I said it was going to be, and I do apologize for that, but I have my reasons, okay? Today I was going to do Miss Luna's my Blythe's uh, face up, but I want to give everybody uh, a few more people a chance to vote on the type of makeup she gets. So I'm moving her face up video to Tuesday to give more people a chance to vote. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make slip covers for your Blythe or any dowel stand. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, this is Miss Luna's dowel stand. Okay, now if you notice, it's got writing on it. Well, this dowel stand is very special. Okay, it was made by um, Marna and Darren from Dow's Rescue and was given to us as gifts uh, for the Dolly Meetup in Missouri. So I don't want to mess this up. You know, so what I'm going to, but I am turning Miss um, Luna, my Blythe Dow, into a Lolita girl. And this doesn't necessarily work with that aesthetic. So what I'm going to do is make two slip covers for it. I know that sounds funny, but let me show you how what I mean by that. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this camera to focus on what I've got down here. We will see if this works. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's my work stuff. Okay, hang on. Okay, I got to move a few things over so I can sit down and do this. Okay. What you need to make slip covers uh, is very simple. You need. Now, I'm also going to make a, a little one for Miss Gigi, who is my Rainbow High doll. This is her stand, so I'm going to make a little one for her as well. Okay, what you need is your doll stand, some kind of material, whether it be, I'm using felt. I'm doing two different colors today. I've got green and I've got a, like a burnt orange. Oh. I hate when they put these stickers on them. It just really hard to get off without. Buzzing up your felt. Okay. This is. Okay. I have. Felt. You can use whatever material you like. What you do. Uh oh. I will be right back, guys. I forgot a pen. Hang on. I will be right back. Okay. Found a pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the base of the um, stand so that the slip cover covers it. Like so. I will cut this out. And then I'm going to lay it on top so I can find out where the hole, I'll lay it on top of it so I can find out where the hole is. And then I'm going to make a slit so that this part of it can come through. Okay, then I need hot glue and whatever I'm going to decorate it with, which for me is fake flowers, okay? Um, both of these will be little garden themed for um, Luna's. One's going to be with the yellow flowers and one will be with the blue and purple flowers so that 
two different aesthetics for her um, stands to go along with the different outfits that she has. Then um, I will do one for uh, probably one with just leaves and things for um, Miss Gigi stand because she is all about the bees. I might put like one flower on it. But there we go. Now you can do this in many, many different ways. Um, uh, I, and I plan on doing just that. I have, you know, like I'm doing a beach scene. Right now I'm cutting out the um, circle. Um, or oval, I guess this would be. I'm, I'm pretty bad at that. Um, one of the things I thought about was doing one for a beach, which would be using a... Um, like tan and blue material and using seashells. Um, you could do seasonal ones um, like white for winter and, and a summer one and a... Okay, I got the oval cut out nice and neat. Now, right there, let me... Line this up nice and pretty, and right here is where the hole is. Mark that real good, and we will poke a hole in it. Let me see if I can get a hole in it without cutting myself. Yeah, we'll just do it this way. We're going to fold it, and we're going to make a little slit. Just go... Just like that. A little slit in it. Like... Like... So. So that the stand piece can go in it. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to decorate this with flowers and so on, and I will do the same with the other one, but this way I can take this off anytime I want and exchange it for something different. Um, like I was saying, you can do seasonal ones um, using the, the burnt umber color for um, fall and using uh, fall leaves. Now... I personally would use fake fall leaves because to me they last a little longer, but you know. And all right, we're going to do blue flowers. So I'm going to pull off the blue flowers that I want, blue and purple ones. And. Um, see with the darker, yeah, pull off all the blue flowers that I think I need. And then we'll use the purple ones with the yellow, I think. I think that'll look pretty, because they don't have smaller purple or yellow ones. Okay, so what I'm going to do is trim off the little... nib at the end put a dollop of glue down glue down that flower I wish I could tilt this just a bit farther but I'm afraid my phone will fall right out of it so move this this way just a little bit Right. touched my there we go all right
All right, this is going quite well. Um, when I am finished decorating it here, I'll show you guys what Miss Luna looks like standing on it. I'll go ahead and nip all of these off real quick so it doesn't take me quite so long. Now, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about, too. Now, um, I do want to remind you guys of a few things. Uh, one, I have a giveaway going, and I will leave a link to the giveaway video below. I also have some dolls, still have some dolls for sale. So I will leave... Put their pictures and prices at the end of this video and if you're interested just leave a comment and we will work something out okay now here see how pretty that is look at that Look how pretty that is. I'm going to put one little loner flower up here. All right. I will be right back. i got to go get Miss Luna so you can see what she looks like on the stand. Okay, and there is Miss Luna standing on her new stand. Doesn't that look awesome? And I can, tr I will um, trade it out for the other one as soon as I'm done with it and then show you that as well. And here is Luna on the second slip cover. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Loving it. Now, I'm going to set up real quick, and we will do um, Miss Gigi's stand together, okay? Well, guys, I had just a little trouble with some teenagers being teenagers. So I just went ahead and made Miss Gigi's stand um, off camera. Um, my two... Uh, teenage young ladies or peoples were um, having a little argument and it was kind of loud. So here is Miss Gigi's stand. What do you think of that? Now, if you guys do make little slip covers like this for your stands, do me a favor. Send me some pics and let me see what you've made. I, um, have plans on making several more slip covers for each one. Okay, sorry about that, guys. For some reason, my camera shut itself off. I don't know why it does that. But as I was saying, if you guys do make um, slip covers for your stands, please send me some photos and let me see what you make. Um, I do have plans on doing seasonal ones for each of them and probably some holiday ones as well so keep your eyes out for those i will you know show them in different videos now i want to remind you again that um miss luna's face up will be on tuesday and if you haven't voted for the makeup style yet please go to the link below and make your choice okay um, I also want to remind you about my giveaway, September's giveaway, which is a custom-made, uh, Behringer baby who, that will be, um, whatever mommy, the mommy or daddy decides they want me to make it into, uh, that is what I will make it into. Um, there is also a secondary giveaway in that video, so go check that out. And I also want to remind you that I do have dolls for sale, and I will leave their pictures at the end of this video. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this is something that you guys um, will do on your own. It just, I am the type of person I do not have room for a whole bunch of different stands. Miss Luna and Miss Gigi here only have one stand each. This way, I can make their stands look different in any way I want. And then just put them in a bag and, or put the little slip covers in a baggie and put them away. Or put them in some kind of storage and put them away. So, if this is something that you guys like, um, just let me know in the comments what you think. From Gigi and Little Gigi and Luna. Thank you for joining us today. Be happy, be safe, be sensible, and do your very, very best to behave. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.